Greetings and welcome. This is yours truly, Sugi Khan. Had a bit of a break since the last video, but now I'm back. And today I'm going to be reviewing a game called Vanguards, which is available on Steam. It's free to play and it was developed and published by Bayou Games. And in a nutshell, it is a 3v3 arena MOBA. And it's a very, very simplified version of of the other really arena games and MOBAs I guess because you only have three characters which you can choose from um, you have abilities from Q, W, E and R and respectively you're able to spam these abilities quite frequently in this game because you don't have auto attacks so auto attacks have been removed totally there are no minions and what is your goal is to capture these skulls and pretty much bring them to enemy base and the enemy base will start losing health and when it goes to zero you essentially win it's like a very very simplified easy to learn game and it can take anywhere from 10 minutes to half an hour depending on how even the teams are and it has like these two phases so you need to destroy the enemy base like two times which is kind of weird in a sense because I don't know what the actual first round is supposed to do because the second round is what matters so even if you score first um, both the second spots open at the same time so I'm not really quite sure about the design and it's a very simplistic game it was created by college students as a bio animation program there's no like any type of um, um, pay to win elements. There's nothing to buy in the game. You can't even buy skins. You can't buy characters. You can, there's not a shop in this game. There are no runes. There are no masteries. There are no glyphs. There's nothing. And uh, there's no progression. There's not even a chat system in the game. It's very, very stripped down version of a MOBA game or an arena game for that matter. Um, as what comes to the balance of the three characters, I think they're kind of evenly balanced. Each of them have their own quirks. The lightning dude is very, very agile, while the ice has um, pretty a lot of good abilities in which do a lot of damage, and the fire dude essentially does a lot of AOE damage. And, you know, there's also a feature to play against the bots, and the bots are actually pretty good. So you even lose, <laughs> like I did, to lose to the bots. Um, but for the most part, I do I do think that it's sometimes a simplistic design is pretty good. Um, it's all about mechanics. It's kind of similar to um, Bloodline Champions and Battle Right without like the round system. So you respawn, and when you get kills, you get crystals, and the crystals can be used to like pretty much buy the death timer to lower, which is a neat neato system. I think some of the matches can last maybe a bit too long based on the game design itself and um, uh, you know the main the, the, the map design may not be the perfect because there's no actual place or point to be on the bottom side of the map like literally there's no point you can do everything happens on the top point of the map. That's something that has been kind of like a poor game design in my opinion. It's not really like super problematic design flaw, but it's kind of like you could have designed the map to be just like a one straight line instead of having this sort of a, like a map that it just seems to me be pointless because the bottom side of the map just doesn't have any like part to play in the game and outside the bot games because the bots decide to seem to go from the bottom route once the second phase starts in the game. And this is a great game if you just want to put your brains in the basket and just play something and don't need to focus on around that much. The timers are not really like super long so you get to go back to the field and kill enemies and just uh, fuck around. And this is a perfect game to play with friends obviously. There's a server list also where you can create your own games. And um... Just to kind of summarize my review, because there's not much to talk about this game. It's very simple. The graphics are okay. There's a windowed mode. There's a few settings that allow you to tweak the game um, graphically. It's not the most impressive. It has actually decent music, but I always have to put things to context. It was created by a college team, and they did a pretty good job if this is their first game or something. And uh, it could have been like something even bigger uh, grand scale project if they started adding more characters and maybe have some type of monetization model. But for the most part, it is an okay game. It's a nice arena game. 
that can everybody can play and it's not heavy on the PC or anything and runs pretty smoothly. So thanks for watching this review. Check out my other mobile reviews on my channel and other content that I'm pushing by subscribing guys. And uh, if you don't want to miss any of the videos, just hit the gear, gear icon next to the subscription button and it will always notify you when a new video comes out. Uh, until then, I will see you next time and thanks for watching. Cheers.